Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Just for not to the mad. I know the process are we just preparing level 23 boxes, madman. Good as fuck, this is 13 and all around neutral guy. I wonder if they've actually done the awards for 2014 by the time this video goes out. Uh, it might be that they just will not. Alright, so I can return to Pearl because I've helped enough people apparently. Maybe I should do just that. Yeah, that'll do. Also, night is falling. So, um, turn my flashlight on. That's not gonna help at all. That's just gonna look silly. Who's that? Should I? Actually, no. Let's not shoot him in the head. He looks like a friendly enough fella. Evening. Evening. He didn't even threaten my robot. He didn't even threaten my robot. That's how things are. It's getting really dark, isn't it? Maybe I should turn the light on. Though it still won't really help. Well, you have an entire barracks to yourself, eh? Where is the nappy bed? Wish to have a nap. Oh, that's... I'm happy you came along. You are the answer to our dream. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. But I... I, I, I can actually do more. I can do plenty more, but... Come on, tell me. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Find Loyal and ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next. He'll tell me to blow myself up. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know, he's told me to try and not get myself blown up. So, maybe not. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Mini Boomer. Roar! I'm a dinosaur. I believe you. See ya. You're a real dinosaur. <gasps> Are you a dinosaur too? Halt. You must pay the toll to pass. I'm just passing through. Okay. See ya. Mini boomers. Hey, do you have any toys outside of here? I sure could use something fun. They do. Bye then. I should probably get get you mini boomers some. Mini boomers! They're like real boomers, but they're smaller. You know, because they're mini boomers. Mini boomers! Best name for children ever. <laughs> mini boomers! I can't get over that. Not yet. Please tell me Loyal hasn't gone home. Loyal has probably gone home. And there's nowhere here for me to nap. Oh no, Loyal's still here. No, that's Jack. Hey. Jack seen Loyal? How do I get inside here? Apparently there's not really much use in getting in there. Hmm. Can I get anything interesting from here? That all is pretty good. Yeah. It's a good thing these people trust me. I know what's best for them. And that is stealing all their medical supplies. Wait. No, no, no. That doesn't actually make sense, does it? I could steal the hammer. And more of their medical supplies. How can I make uh, steam packs again? I know I'm technically able. Hello. Pearl sent word saying it's all right to tell you about the lady in the water. That sounds really creepy, Loyal. <laughs> What's that? A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, a bomber 
crashed not far from here. A bomber was a flying contraption that could drop explosives down on anything it flew over. But anyway, moving on. This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum. Couldn't fly, but had a lot of spare parts, see? Get where I'm going? Since I was a young man, I've dreamed of raising that lady from the lake and bringing her back to life. What do you say? Where is the bomber located? It's at the bottom of Lake Mead. I'll mark its location on your Pip-Boy map. How do you expect to raise a bomber from the bottom of a lake? Simple. Attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up. Here is a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. Uh, Alright, I'm game. Good. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, and hit the button. Any ideas how to get to the bottom of Lake Mead without drowning? Might try holding your breath. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather once. Alright. Jack. Give me a rebreather. Have you seen her? The redhead of my dreams? Uh, not yet. Uh, I heard other things to attend to. I'm working on it. Oh, well, let me know when you do. Uh, Lewis said you can help me breathe underwater. I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. A uh, corn silk rubber hose and removable lattice would make a good hermetic seal. That's a brilliant idea. I can put that together right now. Here you go. A new rebreather. Yay, that means you don't have to go and find things. Uh, what do you do here? Me? I work with Loyal. Mostly electronics work in robotics. Keeping the old technologies alive, right? Ah, cool. What can you tell me about Loyal? Loyal's a great man, but he's getting on in years. So a younger's got to learn everything he knows. That'd be me. The man knows how to fix and build just about everything that was ever made. It's not easy keeping up with him. Okay, dokie. See ya. Later. I need to go find that redhead. I also need to go and get the ship out of the bottom of the flake meat. Uh, that'll be fun. I also I need to wait till morning. Actually, do I? I might as well. I need to go and pick up on the depth, don't I? Um, no, not depth wager. You know the guy who told me I, the way to get to the gate and stuff. Of course, it's completely possible that he took my 300 caps and ran. And I would not feel entirely mad. Just severely disappointed. That's right. Alright, so, um, where is the gate that actually. Oh, that's north. We're heading south right now. Yeah, we should be heading in. Oh, wait. Yeah, we're supposed to head south. For some reason, I had the map flipped in my head. Not sure how that happened. Guess I'm, for some reason, used to exploring uh, from north to south. Then I don't know. I really don't know how I reached the conclusion that I should be heading north when I was heading to my place, which was south. Really? So we may see our dream of flight soon. Yeah, sure. Come on, Boone. Hey, come on, I just closed the gate. Oh, fine. As long as you'll actually follow me. Yeah, this looks like a nice enough town, doesn't it? Hmm. And where do we find the redhead? Might it be one of the chunkies? I didn't think we had a lot of leads to go on, did we? We may have, and I just didn't notice them. Completely possible. 
All right. Wait, where did we? Did we really pass that long a path? Just to get over there. Oh, seriously? Nice. That's really heavy there. I take that there. Do I take this? Uh, I just sell it there. Yeah, it does mean I need to actually add some of that. Misc. Mission statement. Bar Paladin Brazilian, you and an escort are to investigate the military base to the northeast for the components we need. We had reports that the current occupants are fiercely territorial, but it's highly unlikely that they have any weapons that can seriously threaten someone in full power armor. <laughs> the threat level is considered minimal. They really didn't know. They really didn't know. Oh, there's another set of this armor. Ooh. Question is, how do we handle it? All oh, right, simply. Um, Edie, have you ever considered wearing Brotherhood armor? Oh, he's unable to wear the faction armor. Never mind. Or she? I don't know. What did they call her before? Apparently she. <laughs> if I'm gonna ask it like that, then I probably have an answer. Right there. Right up your bum. No idea why anyone would store an answer there, but that's what's going on now. That's the situation. Nothing we can do about it now. Right then. You had money for me. Jumping Jesus on a pogo stick. You're the first one to make it through alive, let alone manage a return trip. I believe you said you would double my money. Yep. Here are your caps. And... Uh, oh, I could lie, but I don't know if I want to. Let's just go with that. Sorry about that. Poor memory. Here you go. Right, now I need to ha find that redhead. I still don't know who the redhead might be, though. So why would there be anyone? Hanging around there. Hey, Chunkies, do you know anything? Hey there. Uh, apparently not. Oh. We've got Legion. There's more leeching. All mine. Where are they? I know they will be going f coming from that direction, but they really should stop sending the, uh, you know, advance party that far ahead. Also, not gonna take his armor. Oh right, his armor is shit anyway. Never mind. Come on, come on. I think I'm gonna check in with the gun runners after this. They might have enough money. Or the medical clinic, because they also may have enough money. You like that? If I hadn't missed that shot, that would have been brilliant. What is that weapon? You're mine. Right in the bum bum. Okay, there's the last you survivor. Like the last of his kind still standing. And he wasn't standing long, let me tell you that. Good job, ED. Also, good job, Boon. Also, good job, me. Everyone did a good job here. I probably did the least of it. But you know. Everyone did a good job here. Do me glance. Yeah. What do you have? 
nothing uh, quite as fabulous, I guess. Alright, Eevee. Eevee, carry more stuff. Yeah. I want you to carry this thermal lance. I'm sure you can put it to good use. Also, that combat armor, why not? Actually, that'll do. But, you know, carry the thermal lance. I am absolutely sure you can put it to good use. Your companion can't use this metal weapon. Well, fuck you, game. The game didn't actually say that. What if Edie can use the thermal lance? What if? That'd be miraculous. Just imagine Edie traveling the waste with a thermal lance and kicking everyone's ass. He doesn't even have limbs, she. Should I call it it? It's like, I can't... There's no way for me to actually call her by a specific pronoun. I just keep switching between them like a maniac. It's horrid. Oh well. Right then. I think that's the clinic, right? And I hope this is not a radiation storm. That's when the radiation starts hitting me. Is it? No, it's just a sandstorm. You're good. Apparently, it does still damage too. Hello. You're back. Do you need medical attention? Mm, no. Goodbye. Take care. Edie. I'm gonna need some of your cash. Wait, where did you put the armor? Did you consume the Brotherhood armor? Edie! Because it, because she couldn't use the armor, she... You're back. It Do you need medical attention? Disintegrated it. Do you sell anything here? I have reserved a small part of my supplies for sale. The profits go directly to the purchase of additional supplies to help the less fortunate. Nifty. Show me. Very well. Yeah, I guess that will do. I still have my thermal plants for now. I want to buy an implant. All right. Yeah, increase. Can you make me luckier? Sure. If I implant the probability calculator in your frontal lobe, you'll be able to calculate odds a little better. It's not quite the same as making you luckier, but you'll be able to nudge things your way more often. I can do the implant for 4,000 caps. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. Can you imagine walking up to a doctor and going like, Hey, can you make me luckier? That makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Also, this sand does deal a small bit of damage. I guess. Unless I do the damage while fighting the legionaries, which also seems pretty likely. Uh, where's the gun runners? We're running blind here. Basically running blind. Show me where the map is. I know we're running towards the gun runners. There's apparently something else between here and there though. I'm kinda curious what it is. What are you, map marker? Three sides east gate. Hey. Cool. Um. And I think the gun runners are here. I think they're here. Yeah, they're here. Cool. So let's save. Hello, potential customer. Hello. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? No, I wish to sell you stuff. I am ready to process our transaction. So am I. Yeah, it looks like we're good, uh, aside from the fact that, you know... Come back and see us again soon. Aside from the fact that we did lose the power armor as we hoping to sell. ED! Is this somewhere to get it out of your inventory? Or is it seriously destroyed forever? Boon, what do you have? Fine by me. Marksman carbine. Oh, cool. <sighs> that was disappointing.
wasn't it? Right now, how do I find the girl? Do you kind of want to find that girl? That's the crash P29. What does Young Heart say on the map? That I should loot 50 Crimson Caravan. Apparently. Of course, running around in the sandstorm is the greatest idea of all time. From what I can tell, this actually might support the free side. No, no, no. To the Crimson Caravan, we go. Still having some trouble seeing anything, but yeah. There's your gate, Grimson Caravan. Oh, there it is. Yes, certainly, to the Grimson Caravan. Alright, well. Are you sneaking? McLafferty's been riding asses again. Have you seen any good redheads? The map marker points me this way. Is this where your cute redheads are? <gasps> are you the cute redhead? Brahmin. No, probably not. Um, you? You should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. I don't suppose you watch the boomers over in Nellis sometimes, do you? I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know? And why? I've been inside Nellis. There's a young man there who has a crush on you. Nice looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? He's nice. Maybe a little naive. Seems convinced you're the love of his life. Really? Oh, that's so sweet. I'd love to go meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? I'll ask Pearl to make an exception for you. This is so exciting. Let me know how it turns out. You'll die. In the end. But I think they can be happy if we together for a while. Or at least, you know. Uh, whatever it is they want to be doing. I think they might be happy for a while. Ooh, looks like the storm is passing. That's nice. Uh, I got sand all over my sheriff hat. All over. Also in my pants. Sand in my pants. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. Uh, Chuck is interested in a girl. Well, well, this is welcome news. Who is she? She works for the Crimson Caravan. She's with those traitors? They've tried to contact us before, but... I'm not interested in trading with greedy savages. This presents a bit of a problem. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive. It could mean a lot to Jack if she could come to Nellis. Hmm. I suppose Jack deserves a chance at love. You can tell Jack she has a free pass to enter, but he is responsible for her actions. Do not make me regret this decision, outsider. All right, let's go. Bye. Bye. Why was she so? Bo oh, I don't know. Anyway, next time we're gonna fix up Jack's and Janet's love life and be on our merry way towards merry adventure. So thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Oops. You're mine. I should have snuck. I should have 360 that no scope.